Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this quick video, I will show you how you can edit Adobe PDF documents right from within SharePoint. Uh, so uh, let me explain what I'm talking about. So here I have a document library on HR team site and a bunch of uh, files and folders. Now, historically, we always had the ability to edit, let's say, a Word document or Excel document in uh, both the browser and uh, the native uh, experience, the, the desktop application. However, for PDFs, uh, we pretty much uh, did not have this capability for many, many years, all right? The best we could do was just click on the document and essentially it would be kind of uh, view only, um, a, you know, viewer and you could not really edit it uh, in any way. Now, uh, there is an edit button over here, but unfortunately, uh, this just, you know, allows to make some whatever markups and stuff like that. I'm talking about the ability to edit, rearrange stuff, something you would typically do in uh, Adobe Professional, right? So I do have Adobe Professional installed on my computer, and just like I have Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So how do we edit the uh, PDF documents uh, using the desktop experience? Well, let me show you. Instead of just clicking on the document, you right click, on PDF, open, and look at this, you now get two options. So by default, just like with Word and Excel and PowerPoint, it forces you into the browser experience, but you can always choose this option, open uh, in the app, and um, it gives you this uh, warning message. I will actually mention um, uh, uh, something about this uh, in a second. And you just follow the prompts and click open. And if you notice, uh, right now, it opened the document uh, essentially in, uh, um, you know, in Adobe PDF, right? Adobe PDF Professional that I have installed and I can obviously make changes and, um, you know, and change, you know, whatever the layouts, text and so on. So that's essentially how it works now. Uh, and obviously you can save them back uh, to SharePoint. If you do save the changes, uh, let's actually save the changes. If they do, you click the save button, they go back essentially to the same location where you opened it from. Now, uh, let me explain something else, something really, really important. So I'm actually going to navigate to a different browser over here. I'm logged in as Mary over here. And uh, let me explain to you the reason why I do this. So let me refresh the screen. Let me essentially try to do the same thing as I just showed you and open it in the uh, native uh, application. And look at this. Um, now, the very first time uh, when you try to edit PDFs, you might uh, get the screen. And essentially for this uh, ability to work, to be able to edit PDFs, what you need to do, you need to set up OneDrive synchronization. I have already done it under you know, my own account, all right? So that's why when I edited the PDF, uh, I didn't get that prompt, I already had it uh, set up. Uh, but if you're not syncing, if you're not syncing anything locally to your Windows Explorer, then uh, you will need to set it up if you want to uh, be able to edit PDFs. That's just how it works, all right? Uh, so you might get the screen. Again, the reason I, so you just follow the prompts and pretty much, um, uh, you know, finish the setup. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the idea behind it. Uh, again, in my case, I already synchronized. As a matter of fact, let me just show you uh, uh, just like that. Um, you see what actually happens behind the scenes. It relies on OneDrive Sync to kind of uh, open this particular file because at that point of time, the file is kind of downloaded temporarily uh, and um, um, essentially allows you to edit uh, the, um, you know, that particular file. But let me show you just so that um, you understand what's happening uh, behind the scenes. One second, I will expand uh, this window right here. So yeah, I already synchronized, as you can see, under my own account, I synchronized my OneDrive and I synchronized uh, that particular library. But uh, in case if you never ran OneDrive Sync, uh, it will pretty much prompt you to do that uh, when you try to edit the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the PDF documents. And this is just a one-time deal, right? This is like the very first time you try to edit PDFs, um, just finish the setup, and from that point on, it will allow you to edit the PDFs, all right? So that's all I really wanted to show you in this video. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.